Okay guys, this is a review for Windows 8. Um, giving it a rundown here. Uh, basically, I uh, just wanted to, to kind of get rid of some of the hate for Windows 8. Uh, I, I've had Windows 7, I've had uh, XP, I've had 2000, I've had 95, I've had 98, had all that crap. So I know what it's all like. I've used it all before. I used XP for a very long time. Um, used 7 for about no, since it came out pretty much um, let's basically do some rundowns here um, first thing uh, it, it, it definitely looks a lot crisper um, in general with the border down here not nearly as smoothed off it's also got uh, this on the side you just kind of move your mouse over to here and then pop it up you have to let it sit there for about a second or two and it'll you have to move it down to the very far corner and it'll pop up in like a second you can go to start, which brings you to this tile type. And then to go back to it, you hit desktop. Very easy, very simple. Then uh, here's like how to go to settings. You can go to control panel, personalization, all that good crap. Um, they're very, pretty much the same exact thing as Windows 7 right here. All that looks the same. The border looks different, a lot crisper. Um, the minimize and maximize and the close out button looks a little bit different, scroll bar looks different too, border of course, um, gives it a, a little bit smoother look, the way it highlights is a little bit different, kind of fades in real fast, and then uh, um, that looks the same as it, Windows 7, this looks pretty much like Windows 7 except for this, the start bar, but about the start bar, you can go to start, and when you get to here, you can go over to here, and when you get down to that far right hand corner you can do this on the desktop too like I showed you and you just basically go down to the far right hand corner you move up go to search and this is all of your applications and everything you need and that's something I don't understand it's got the administrative tools it's got the Windows ease of access the Windows system command prompt and all that stuff and it's exactly like a, a start button you just go in and you type in games and and then say you want uh, Bing or Chrome it, it just pops all that stuff up I mean it, and you can use that and it, it works just like a start bar from Windows 7 or XP or any other Windows operating system that has a start bar with the search button so for people complaining about that that's just really stupid that you would complain about that because it basically has the same thing just in a slightly different graphical user interface it's the same exact concept though um, that's just something I want to dismiss right there so you can tell it's uh, the, the the graphical user interface looks a lot smoother um, in my opinion just it looks clean very nice simplistic look um, I, I, I like it a lot it, it's different um, you know, sometimes people gotta change it up to spice things up some um, good review overall what I think I'm giving it a good review I'm just giving my opinion uh, which is whatever it means to other people um, and then to go back to desktop of course you can hit that like that or you can hit the uh, Windows uh, button on your keyboard and then you can pull up uh, Google Chrome it's got that right there very simple uh, to you can see all that's pretty much the same it's a lot like 7 but the main advantages are it runs smoother we can go to system information and you can look at what I'm running uh, I got the uh, quad CPU Q6600 2.4 gigahertz uh, Intel Core 2 processor it's, they're overclocked 3.2 gigahertz per core 4 gigs of RAM um, got a uh, 320 gigabyte uh, or 280 gigabyte uh, hard drive SATA hard drive um, nothing fancy I think it's like 7200 RPM um, you see Windows 8 Pro 64 bit blah 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 stuff you already know so uh, um, yeah and then you that's it's pretty much about it. Then we can go to this. That looks exactly like Windows 7. Um, so I don't see the big complaint there. A lot of this is a lot like it. The main thing that's a big difference, people just see this and are like, wow, this is 
way different so I, I can't get this at all it makes no sense but it's it's very easy to use um, I mean I'm surprised that these uh, guys that are big into computers are complaining about it and yet even the simplest of simple minded people could use this it's just like very easy to use now yes it may not give you as many options but actually if you figure out how to use it like I have which it took me about 10 minutes you can do just as much with this as you can with Windows 7 as you can with Windows XP or as you can with Windows 2000 you can do just as much if you figure it out it's not hard and it took me like 10 minutes just doing a rundown and it's, it's very nice also um, to go back to desktop you can go over to the corner you move up some and if you have tasks running in the background you can right click on it and then click close and it closes it but once you don't have any tasks running in the background you can't do it again unless there are any tasks um, now that's that's really about it I mean like I said going back to this and being able to go to the corner and hit search and then just there's your start menu right there um, in a lot cleaner look it's got a, a lot more wide open it's got the search right there just like at the bottom of a start menu in Windows 7 um, and then this uh, this operating system boots up quicker than 7 uh, about 6 seconds on my computer with the same uh, amount of hard drive space taken up and all that stuff um, and driver updating is great uh, security on it is great uh, it's it runs really smooth um, let's go to the task manager uh, you can see that the performance it's only using about uh, I mean not much of my CPU it's only using about probably one core right now and then 1.2 gigabytes of RAM it's that's nothing it's not bad at all um, and I'm running Chrome and that's really about it and then like if I, I would exit out of Chrome but I can't right now but without Chrome up it, it goes down to about 0 0.9 0 0.8 which is about what uh, Windows 7 would be so it, it runs smooth I like the crispness of it it looks really good overall I'm I'm pleased with it it's uh, is it worth the upgrade yes um, in my opinion it, it's nice to be a little bit more up-to-date because of course Windows is gonna want to force updates upon stuff and make it a little bit tougher for you to have older operating systems like they did with XP and like they did with all this other stuff but overall is it bad no not at all is it better than Windows 7 I would say so in my opinion I like it better um this is really my review and that's that's really about it